Hi friends. I'm excited today because I have nothing to do. I actually have like one errand I have to run later this afternoon. The kids have materials to pick up at the school and all four of their computers, <laughs> it's kind of funny, got an email this morning and they were like, urgent alert. And it came from the school district and they said, all Windows licensing agreement, literally with Microsoft, are going to expire like today or tomorrow, you need to rush your laptops down to the school and sign up with a new licensing agreement. You just have to pull into the school, log into their wireless network, I guess, and then from their own network, you're able to like walk through the process of getting a new licensing <laughs> agreement. Anyway, so I have to take all four laptops with me. Luckily today, the kids are almost done with school. The older ones are done with school and the younger ones. Oh, I have one more call. <laughs> you have one more call. Well, yeah, I have... Well, you have... Oh, go. She's six minutes late for a call. So, uh, that's the only thing that I have to do. It is sunny out there, so when I go out to do that, I might leave a little early and go and fly the drone. I've been watching videos, learning how to fly. But you can't really learn how to fly unless you get out there and do it. But what did I get in the mail today that I'm so excited about? My kids got these for Christmas from my sister. I didn't want to steal one of theirs to do because we only got four of them. And so I ordered some more on Amazon and it took forever to get here. And so it's finally here. And I think I've shown these before, but I wanted to get one that was a little bit different. Let me show you. All right, as you saw me unpackaging this, I got this package today from Amazon. So what these are, are I'm gonna show you this one that's all done. It is diamond painting. And they're teeny tiny beads, little diamond beads, and they, it's like paint by numbers. So let's show you what it looks like before. Awesome. All right, so this is what comes with the kit. We bought four pictures, and I'll show you the other ones in just a second. But every kit comes with one tray, this little, Abby, is this like a gummy wax, or what is it's this? It's some sort of wax. It's just like sticky. A sticky wax. And then one application tool, and then these are all the beads. So it's like paint by numbers. So you can see all the numbers, or all the letters I should say, and every color is a different letter. And they're all packaged up in these little baggies. Well, they're in little packages and then it comes with baggies that you can put them in. See, there's little baggies inside there. And the kids have been doing these. You just take the applicator and you pick up a diamond and you put it on the right color. They've been doing it by color. And this is actually like a good swatch of color. But there's like this little film sticker that goes over the top of it and you have to kind of cut that off for the section that you want to do but that's hard when there's like five different colors in one area it's easy in this area but you still have to cut off that plastic film going all across here so the kids have kind of discovered that they wanted a little bit of a better system okay so i'm going to show you this one that's all done abby did this one it's a little sunset um on the beach and you can see all the little individual beads if we go up close here you can hear the texture to them they're little plastic diamonds they're totally fake you can see the different areas of all the different colors that you do and it, we're going to frame them and probably put them up in the playroom or something by our travel wall I haven't decided how to frame them it comes on this really stiff canvas material this one actually got cut just a little bit which is part of the problem. You use scissors or a, a razor blade to cut off this little plastic film in the sections that you want to put the beads on, but we've discovered that we're cutting through the mat. So here's what we're gonna do to fix that. So we ordered this kit on Amazon, and it was funny because I was just gonna order the tools. I'll show you the tools really quick. So normally it comes with one applicator tool, but we ordered one that can do three, six, and nine diamonds all at the same time. So I ordered this kit and it comes with some tweezers, which is very nice. And then it comes with a three, a six, a nine, and a one. Yes, I could have said that one, three, six, nine, <laughs> but. So we have multiple tools and then we have multiple trays so we can put multiple colors out at the same time. But also we can put all the beads in here and then we can have multiple colors out at the same time. The reason why that's helpful is because when we're doing the actual picture itself, I can cut off the plastic to a whole section at a time and I can have a ton of beads available to me in five different trays if I wanted to. And then I could work on a whole section at a time instead of just by color. So I'm gonna take all my beads and I'm gonna put them into these little boxes. And then I think I will start working on my little picture. 
So maybe you can see what mine is. It's just a big ocean scene. So this is one from the first one we got. I think this is probably Chelsea's that she needs to do. And she's been waiting for bigger tools as well. So this is just like a, another sunset palm tree scene. And this is Kaylee's. Again, she's waiting for more tools as well because she doesn't want to do it one at a time. She wants to do multiple beads at one time. Okay, this one's kind of hard to see in the little picture format. But this one is a boardwalk beach scene. So this is one I will do next. It's really hard to see that one. And then Kaylee wants to do this one as well as the other sunset one. I think she's going to start with this one because she wants more of a daylight beach scene. So she's going to do this one. So this one has been wanting to help me separate all the beads. I needed her to get done with her calls. Are you going to, you need to go play with Callie while you have a lunch break. So I will start on this with you. Then I want you to get out there because it's sunny and not raining. Okay. And not too cold. So we're going to start by putting the beads into the container. Right, Ashley? I know, they're cute. So it's funny because like I went, went on Amazon to order just one of these or even like just a kit with multiple application tools that had, you know, the six or nine bead application. And one of these kits with like, I think it was like two or three tools, probably the equivalent of like this amount right here was like four or five dollars. And then I found this kit with all of this stuff for five ninety nine, And I was like, um, yes, that's a better deal. Hey, Ashley's gonna help me. She decided to stay in for lunch. So you can't really tell, but I cut off plastic in this bottom right. corner here. Kind of have a lucky spot right here because they're all one letter minus just a few here and there, which is gonna be fine. We'll just get those colors when we need them. So we're gonna do this whole chunk right here of all one color. So we're just gonna take our little tray and Ashley found number 16, right? But put the number back in. Okay, and I think what we can do is we can just pour. No, oh, it's gonna, oh yeah. Because all of them are closed. We can just pour out what we need like that. And it still stays in. Yeah. Okay, Ashley's gonna show us. You take your little tool and you stick it down onto the little jelly stuff. Right, Ash? Yeah. You gotta do it on the edge. Okay, so now she's got the gel stuff in the middle there. I know. And she's gonna show you how you put them. You kind of have to shake the tin to get them lined up and then they're on there. Right? Mm -hmm. Hang on, focus, hang on. Okay, now put them on the mat. I'm just gonna put it right here. Yep. Okay. And mm. if you didn't pick one up in a certain spot, like you see right here, where, right here, you can come with your one tool, show them, Ash. Oh yeah, you can use the tool to kind of push them, make sure they're in place, and then she can grab one with her one tool. And push it. And push it into the spot that she kind of missed. She's scooting them together. Okay. No. You've got to be a good pro at this, kiddo. Yeah. So it's kind of fun. And I'm going to, I had a movie on, but it wasn't appropriate for Ashley to watch. <laughs> so you're going to have to go back to school or go out to play. But we decided we were going to go fly the drone. We should fly it before it starts to rain. Now it's getting kind of cloudy. So we're going to do this for a little bit longer. She's going to go back to class and then we're going to go fly the drone. Yeah, you have class in 10 minutes already. And then we'll go fly the drone. Mm -hmm. after class okay yep. also I made my decision on the kids schooling Can I tell? you want to tell them yeah. come here I'm happy we I'm had happy. a survey from the school and it had you had to make up your mind definitively for the rest of the school year what were our two choices um like going back to school like two days a week and no it's four days a week yeah, four days. I'll tell you that schedule it's a little wacko but and then uh, online. what was the other choice online school all online you had to make your decision final as of tomorrow what your choice is so the ver I know that the hybrid schedules have been different for different people my sister has a different schedule than my brother does and they're both teachers at two different schools so our hybrid model is Monday Tuesday Wednesday no, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, it's in-person school in the morning to lunchtime. And then virtual school, remote, from home after lunch. And so, and then Wednesday, 
I think is all remote. Yeah, I think. For like half day, I think it is. Yeah. So you're really only getting like three hours at school every single day of the week, and then you have to do the other half of it at home. Yeah, it's like a And it's just a headache, and I don't want the risk. That's me, that's my opinion. I know people, our own neighbors, our own friends here um, in our neighborhood have literally moved to Idaho and to Florida at least through the end of the school year. Bought houses, packed up their stuff, moved out of state because they did not like this remote setting that our state has, or at least our district has. Most of our state is actually this way. I like it, and we're willing to do it for the next five and a half months. We have a lot of breaks coming up. We have midwinter break, we have April break. There's actually two days off in January, the 18th and the 25th. And also our trip. Yep, and so there's actually a lot of time off in the first half of this quarter. And so it, it's not gonna seem as long once we get to that last little chunk of time before school is out. And every one of our kids has decided, no, we're staying home. This decision was only for elementary kids, so they haven't even reached. They always have said that they're gonna start on the elementary level anyway and work their way up to getting the high schoolers in school based on numbers and COVID counts. We're nowhere near that. And we, Washington is doing good. That's saying something. Washington is actually doing better than most counties. Yes, actually, that's how many days left we have until our vacation. They check every day. Regardless, that's our decision. We're staying home, right? Yep. So that's why we keep coming up with activities to do from home yep. and getting space eaters for the garage and because <laughs> we got a long rainy winter ahead of us. But then it'll be actually really fun to have springtime with them home because the weather here in the springtime can be really, really nice. And we get like a fake springtime in like March or in like February, March, we get these fake springs and it fools us and we always know that we're gonna get the rain back, but it's gonna be nice to have it with them home because they can actually get outside and enjoy it. So we're gonna go back to beating really quick before she has to go back to school. that much done. There's no rush. So that's kind of the nice thing with this is that there's no rush. Just work through it. It's upside down to you guys. But I'm just working on this little corner right here. I spent the last, how long have I been here? What time is it? Probably hour. We need to see what time it is. Yeah, I've spent an hour here. I'm trying to get the laptops. I have them down here on the, I've got all four laptops for the kids down here and we had to get a new licensing agreement with Windows <laughs> so that their computers would work. It just took longer than I thought. I'm starving now, but I wanna fly the drone before it gets dark. So let's go see what we can get. Unfortunately, I'm gonna end the video here. I got home from flying the drone. I was out for a couple hours doing the computers and stuff. And today is January 6th. If you are in the US, or if you're not, go and see what happened on, well, you're gonna see this tomorrow, hopefully, if I get it edited. Maybe not. 
I think I might need a day. Democracy in the United States was threatened today and it's kind of leaving us in a little bit of a somber state. I think we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna get through this, but I'm gonna end this video here. I'm not gonna give my opinion on that. Democracy is democracy, period. Don't mess with that. So sorry to leave this on a somber note. I'm gonna take care of my kids tonight. We'll see you guys next time.